I'm Jamie Edwards, and what a pleasure to, uh, to welcome to New York, Mae Whitman. Hello. That's right. Hi. You've got a great voice for radio. I can hear it. Well, thank got you. got presence, booming. It's really excellent. All right. I can see why they like it. I'm ready. <laughs> I, love, I could just stay here All now. ready with the compliments. This I know. is fantastic. <laughs> uh, so you're back as Tinkerbell. Yes. Uh, this is, what, now your fifth time, I think. I think it's, is this the fourth movie or is this the fifth? I think this might be the fourth. I'm not completely sure at this Fourth point. Fourth official one? Fifth, Fourth official. Yeah, the one that was supposed to come out next already been released. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how do you get into her character? Because she's such an iconic character. Yeah, you know, um, she is such an iconic character. And I think I think if I'd known that when I auditioned what I was auditioning for, I probably would have been like way more stressed out and trying to think about what I should do to my voice uh, to change it around. But when I first got the audition, it was they sort of kept it secret, so I didn't really know what it was. Um, so I just sort of did it in my voice. And uh, luckily, there was something in that that they connected with, um, with the quality of my voice. So, like, uh, I don't even have to do too much to my voice. Maybe be a little nicer than usual. <laughs> but that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it. And I think, um, so that's really a nice thing to have to, you know, not have to come in and do some, like, crazy thing to my voice for three hours every day that I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, see, I, the, the guy that plays Elmo, you've got, you've got to really pity him. Oh, man, him. that's commitment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it you? It's not me. <laughs> yeah, right. But any excuse he's here, to pull he's that in the one room. out. He's acting like it's him, but he's, it's not. <laughs> uh, so in this film, Tinkerbell finds her sister. Yes. Um, and that's kind of like the, the main part of the story, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's incredible. I mean, I'm an only child, so I can imagine what it would be like to, to find a sister. I think I would be very weirded out and then very excited. Um, but so it's it's a really an amazing, amazing thing. You know, she finds her and they sort of immediately have this this bond. See, normally single, uh, like only child, they're usually spoiled. Yes, normally, but I'm the exception, clearly. Can't yeah. <laughs> well, I was no, going to say, that's, <laughs> that's exactly why you ended up getting the part of Tinkerbell, because she's <laughs> yes. that sort of Exactly. Spoiled. She is. She's puffed up. She's got, you know, she's just got a very strong heart and a strong will, and sometimes occasionally it gets in her way. As She's got also a strong temper. But um, I think the amazing thing about her is that she's very open and willing to learn and grow. And, you know, there's people around her that she loves and she trusts very much. And they sort of are there to, like, reel her in. Like, all right, you know, don't puff up so much there, little Tinkerbell. Let's calm down and look at the situation in a different way. <laughs> but uh, she can puff up all she likes. She's yes. my favorite Disney character. <laughs> I'm so Always glad. my Christmas tree every year is actually Tinkerbell on the top. Cool. That's amazing. Wearing a little Santa's costume. I'm know, sharing far too much now. <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know all about you. Uh, also got an amazing voice uh, cast uh, yes. with you, Timothy Dalton, as uh, we're about to meet. Yes. Uh, Lucy Liu, Kathy Najimy, mm -hmm. Angelica Houston. Yes, I know. It's all the big, exciting people. I can't believe it. Do you actually ever get to see any of them? Almost never. <laughs> Almost never. Sometimes at events like this, though, this is like where I actually get to meet them. Like I was like saying, I was like excited to go meet Timothy Dalton because I just think he's the coolest ever. So I'm like excited to go try to sneak into his interview room and ask him some fake questions and then be like, no, I'm just kidding. I'm Tinkerbell. How's it going? <laughs> But the weird thing is, you were saying that you wanted to go and ask him about hot fuzz, not about Bond yes. <laughs> no, or, or like Rocketeer or anything. Like, hot fuzz. I know. I'm like a, such an Edgar Wright geek fan girl, even though I've like been in one of his movies and he's my friend. I'm still like, I'm also obsessed with your movies and I want to know everything about them. <laughs> um, I know that you do get to meet your, your fellow cast members sometimes. Yes. Uh, last week I got to spend some time with uh, Jason Biggs. Oh, yes. He's um, amazing. I can't tell you the stuff that he was telling I'm me. I'm sure you cannot. But, uh, not even go close. He just said to send his best to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure that's that's putting it lightly. But I appreciate it very much. I love him very much. He's incredible. <laughs> he's, he says so many things he shouldn't. <laughs> it's so that's funny. pretty much the consensus, yes. But he's, uh, he's, he's straightforward and and honest and fun you know he, he just doesn't take things seriously he's a very funny guy and uh, he's got an amazing heart I love him very much I tell you what it is a tip for you next time you see him give him some Toblerone <laughs> really is he, he make it. him go crazy yeah well something like that yeah yeah <laughs> that's incredible um the, the big part of the, the story about the secret of the wings um is of course that Tinkerbell goes into winter land yes uh what are you are you a, a an autumn girl a summer girl a spring girl or, or do you like the winter Great question. It's such a tough choice because, like, I love all the seasons so much that it's hard for me to choose one because I'm, like, always ready for the next one to come. Like, like at the beginning of summer, I'm like, summer forever. And then by the end, I'm like, no more heat. Like, I can't wait for it to change, you know. But I think... I think probably my favorite, if I had to say, would be autumn. You know, there's just something about it. It's such a magical time, and, you know, I just, like, always have my best thoughts in autumn. 
You see, it's lucky that the curtains in this hotel room are shut because autumn in New York at the moment, it's <laughs> chucking it down. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice, you know, for me, autumn in Los Angeles is the exact same as summer and winter and spring in Los Angeles. So I come here and I'm like, rain, you know, it's like I have to wear a light sweater and I get really excited about it. Like it's, you know, some magical thing. <laughs> so I'm, I'm into it. I don't mind really are exactly as Jason Biggs said you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs> um, I love the fact as well that you've even got your, your sort of Tinkerbell autumn spring style shoes on. Yes, I got my Creepers. It's you guys know something about Creepers over there across the pond, right? Yes. It's a pretty cool fashion sense over there. Anyway, my best friend designed these. She's a designer. And oh, wow. uh, yeah, so she's, she's working with Bass and so she designed them and they're so comfortable and that's all I care about in the world. <laughs> Oh. See, comfy, comfy shoes and a nice sweatshirt. Exactly, all I'm we set want. for life. <laughs> uh, listen, it's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much for having me in New York as yeah, well. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for coming over. Uh, next time it. you're in London, make sure you pop in. I definitely will. I would love that. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Really nice to meet and you. And you.